Hello everyone, it's Lori. Um, yesterday I made some jelly prints because I'm going to make some faith-based collage papers for my art journaling. Um, I used a jelly plate and it's just some random tissue paper that I had. And I have some stamp sets from Bow Bunny. They were $2.99. I bought them at Tuesday morning a long time ago. And then I have the Bow Bunny, which one is this? Amen stamp set that was $1.49 that I got that I'll use. And some creative devotion and Bible journaling stamps that I bought a long time ago from Tuesday morning. I'm going to use those to stamp all my jelly papers. And I have some paints that I'm going to use and some stays on inks. And a lot of the stays on inks were on clearance for two dollars. So let me get a paper towel here so I can put that right there. For, sorry for the reach. And on this one, as you can see, it's a little bit busy. So I think what I'll do is just add some white on this one. And I'll use some of these circle stamps. So I'm going to lay it on there. And see what I like. And do do do. I will use this one. And all I'm gonna do is grab one of my stamping blocks, put it on there, rub it on top of my hand a little bit to get some of the newness off. Shake up my white. Open it up, and I'll take an old, very old paintbrush, pick some paint up. I'm going to put it on my stamp pad, the majority of it, and then I'm just going to brush it on. And put that down, stamp it. I like that. I'll just pick up the rest of this, put it on with my finger, because it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want a little bit of abstract to add into my either Bible art journaling or a faith art journal, um, whatever you want to use it for. You can make cards, you can make, I don't know, sermon notebooks, or whatever you want. The sky's the limit. And I have some baby wipes that I'll use to get the paint off. And I'll go over here, throw that in there. Grab a baby wipe and I'll just clean it off real quick. That's all I'm going to do is just give it a quick cleanup and then I'll stamp it down on the paper towel. There we go. I mean, it's pretty easy to do. You can just customize whatever you want for whatever you want. And I'll put that back in here. And, whoops, I know. Stop doing the nail tapping thing. Maybe some white splashes. Just little ones. 
because it's pretty busy as it is. And I'll just take it and make some marks on it. Throw some of it in the background. And that's what I'll do with that one. And I'll just wipe that up. Now these were just roll-offs. So what I want to do with those is probably add more. More paint, but in the same color schemes that I've got. I've got pinks, I've got oranges, I've got some yellows. So I'll grab some pinks, some oranges, and some more yellows. Oh, I always grab this one. Craft smart. <laughs> anyway. So I'll just lay a little bit down on my mat. And I'll find an old well used flat brush and just come in and just add some more to liven it up and the background will work just fine mix it get a whole different color scheme and then maybe I'll just come in and wipe it up All right, now I'll add some pink. This is pink parfait. And I've got red flag. The red's going to scream out a little bit more, so I'm only going to do a small drop. And I'll just move it a little bit because I don't want it to stand out more than anything and maybe I'll just do a couple of swirls with that grab some pink throw that in here add just a tiny touch of water here grab a little more of that red we'll come over here sorry for the sirens if you can hear that in the background and more pink. Because I'm just essentially going to use these when I do a faith based art journal page. So it's they're just going to be part of a background just to get some texture down. Let me get some in here. Looks like something's going on. Who knows anymore? The world's gone crazy. Now, I don't want to waste this paint, so I'm going to move this out of the way. Grab a water bottle, just throw some down. Mix this around some. Pick up a plain piece of tissue, put it down. Let it mop it up. Take another piece. Lay it on top. Mush it. Just mush it. Lift it up. Lift it up. And once that dries, it'll be good to go. I'll just put that there. I'll take this, mop up the rest. What I don't use, I'll just wipe up with a baby wipe. And then we'll take a blue one. And I was talking about these little white circles. So what I'm going to do is I want to throw some pink in here. So mm, I'll use this one. I'll just dry it out. And I'll come into the lid. 
take some out, put it down a little bit, and then just do my circles. That's all I'm going to do is add the circles that I wanted on this piece of paper. And then maybe some more pink over here. Let me pull that big piece in there. Put some down, throw some down. Grab some. I want to put it on here first so that I'm not putting a huge glob on my paper. And then I'll just come in and pick that up. Yep, that looks good. Now, I'm going to dry this for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I dried that. Now, I think what I want to do is emphasize those circles with some black. Or I can make them little swirly cues. No, I think I'll just emphasize it. And I think I'll do a darker pink with the stays on fuchsia pink. And I have a scratch piece of paper back here that I can stamp on. So let me do this. I'll just line it up a little bit. I love that. That looks really cool. And then I'll just create myself another cool piece of paper in the back. And let's twist that off there. Take this off. Let's see. I'm going to add some of these in black. Or I can do the little crosses in gray. I think I'll do the crosses in gray and see where I'm at before I, I throw any more black in there. I have these little plastic dividers that come in bead things. And I just use these to... There's my gray. Sorry for my reach. This is a very old Adirondack slate. Very old. But... It works. And I'll just go here. I like that. I'll go here. I'm sorry. I'll even go off because I'll probably wind up adding more paint to some of these. And this is good. And then I'll just clean that off there. And I'll take a paper towel. Sorry about that. And just wipe it off. Take that off. Sheesh, look at that. It's probably from being upside down. Alrighty, I still want to go with in with some black. I'll do this. This is from the Bow Bunny one. And will that fit on there? Yeah, it'll fit on there. I'll put it on this stamp pad. And find my black. Don't be crabby. Come on. There you go. I'll just come over here. Um, I'll go there. And this way, because like I said, I'll probably add either some inks 
or something to the outside of this. I'll just do that. And I'll put that right there. Now, I want to put a word. So I can either do the small word faith, big word pray, amen, hope. So, let's put this back here. And I think pray, because pray's got some pretty cool textured lines to it. And I think I'll go, you know what, because I don't, I want it to be there, but I don't want it to stand out like the black would. So I'm going to use some cactus green. Because I have some green in the background. I don't have a, I don't have a blue stays on, which is fine. I, I'll use what I have. And put that right above there. That looks good. And I'll put one over here. One over here. Because you'll still see the word. It's just not going to stick out like, hey, I'm black ink. Check me out. So, and I'll put it towards this side. And then I'll stamp that off there. And I need something here. Oh, I know. Okay. Well, that fuchsia is pretty dark. And I have some purple, too. So, those are all dark colors. I don't want a dark color, but I do want another word. Let me look here real quick. Or do I want some hearts? Nope. I know. I have these teeny tiny little dots. I might use that. It's a good thing everything has what it is on the front because as I'm done going through all these, I'll forget and where they go. But that's okay. And I th think I'll do red dots. Because I have a blazing red. Because I've already got enough black. I just, I want it to be colorful. So, I'll just do red dots. Red dots. No, not blood splatter. <laughs> um, but I do need some splatters. So maybe some white splatters would be good. Uh, my white. I'll just shake it up. So that all I gotta do is take it from the lid. I'll just do it right here. And because the paint's pretty thick, I need the splatters to be pretty thick. So I'll just grab another paintbrush here so that I can tap it. And that looks pretty good to me. I'm liking that. And if I want, I can outline the word pray with a black marker. Um, and I don't want to waste the white paint, so let's just find something to dot it up. I'll just put it on this one. There we go. Wipe it off. 
works good. Set that aside to dry. Put this back in here real quick. Because I never know how to put them back fast enough when I'm doing stuff. And I don't really do voiceovers. Um, I'm not really good at that. So, what do I have? I have Prey out. So I think that went to Bug Bunny. Okay. Let me put Prey back real quick. And this one I think I will do... I'll do, I'll take Faith and I'll put that down black, black ink. Make sure I've got it right. That would really not be good. Or should I do purple? Purple will be neat. So let's do, let's try purple. Let's see how purple per turns out. Nope, not upside down. I always get it on my nails. That's all right. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, that looks good. And I'll just rotate it. Fade out. Just a little bit. Right there. It's not perfect. It's not by any means. But it's mine. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'll just... I should have just stamped it off on there. But that's okay. And... Let's see what else. Oh, I can do little black hearts. Although that's pretty dark, so maybe red. I'll do red. Oh my goodness, come off the piece of plastic. Please. There we go. And... There's my blazing red. Put some little red hearts all over the place. Let me turn this upside down. My evening camera. Sorry about that. Eesh. Just wipe it off on the paper. And one more there. That's good. I mean, the sky's the limit. You can use stencils, stamps, whatever you want to use, you use. Um, I'll get that off. And you make what you want. <clears throat> because that's what making art is. Okay, let's see. I might do some white and black splashes. No. I'm going to do some little black dots. So get a pouncer, Dollar Tree. Let me move it this way. Check out my black a little bit. I usually just go out of the lid. And then down on here. And then, let's see. Just a little bit. Not a lot. I'll even go off the paper. Because I will more than likely add some stamping to this. Well, I might as well fill up the paper while I have the black dots out. That way. If I want to add more to this piece of paper, I can. There. That looks good. Hopefully. And then I'll take a baby wipe. I'll take this and I'll come to this piece of paper back here and just wipe it off. 
And there you go. See? Easy peasy. Um, do I want to add white splashes to this? Mm, let me clean this off. I'll just do some random circles and I'll put it on a wet baby wipe and I'll just wipe this up so I don't get black everywhere. Um, maybe some white splashes. White splashes are good, but see, here's the problem with that. Um, if I'm using these as a background in an art journal page, I will more than likely put some a thin layer of gesso over it just to knock it back some, so I don't want to put too much on. But I want to see my words. So, I want to cross in there. So I'll use this one. I'm not going to use black. Maybe I'll throw in some green. That'll really... Or pink. Pink will do good. No, I've already got enough pink in there. Green. Let's just mess it all up. Here you go, green. It'll look good or it won't look good. It looks good. And then I'll just stamp it off there. And there. Stamp it off there. Stamp it off there. And one more. There. Alright. The green looks good. Nice contrast in color. And then just stamp that off there. Just hit this with a paper towel real quick. Um, do I want to do that? No. I want to do any of this. Nope. To me, this one's done. I like it. And let's go on this one. <clears throat> this one, I would probably only do... I'm not sure we'll get to that one. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to add some words to this one. And I think I will do... Do I want to do praise? Yes, I will do praise. And I will do praise in black. And it, this says pouring out praise, but that's fine. And what color do I want to use? Do I, no, I don't want purple. I'll do black. And let me just do that. And I'll just... There we go. I mean, it's there. And I'll go off, I'll go to the side, see? I know it's hard to see when you're stamping and you're in front of the camera. Um, I'll go this way and this way. And then I'll stamp that off there. And, ooh, I like these little crosses. These are pretty. So what I'll do, I'll just use another one. <coughs> Excuse me. I will. Should I use green? I don't know if green will show up, though. Pink will. We'll try green. Just to see if it shows up. Because I've got the green 
kind of like on the side here mixed in um, when I cleaned up the jelly plate. Let's see. I'm going to hold it on there for a second to let the ink, the paper absorb the ink. It's there. I like that. Let's just put that on there because I can probably cut, tear this out, this piece right here, and make a card or a tag to give to someone, or even a small art journal. Um, I can use it for whatever. But that would that could be a focal point of something that I was making. And let me just finish this off. One right there. And then that'll be good. Alright. That looks the green looks good with it. I didn't think it would, but yep. I'm sorry. There, that's that one. I mean, there are so many things you can do. I mean, I've gotten these stencils from the Dollar Tree. And you just put your stamps on there and make your own collage papers. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye for now.